Hey there. So today we have an update. Uh, I literally just took the advanced Cicerone exam, um, <laughs> signed off like 15 minutes ago. So this is going to be a lot of like chattering. Um, I haven't really like structured a video talking about it. I'm just, this is even my first impression. So what's my first impression? Um, hey, I'm tired, man. I don't remember taking a test. It's been a while since I took a test. And surprisingly, it's very exhausting. Um, I think like, what, like uh, grandmaster chess players, they end up like burning like a gajillion calories uh, during a, ch a chess uh, batch. And now I'm 33, I'm not a fresh guy, a fresh young kid anymore. Taking a test is exhausting physically. Um, that mental energy is like takes a physical toll. So um, I'm a little tired. Um, what, what about what about the tests? It's pretty much what I expected. Uh, I wish I was more prepared. There are certainly some blind spots. Um, questions that I did not fully, you know, answer to my um, like um, satisfaction to my satisfaction. Definitely a lot of questions that I felt like I felt like over answered. Uh, I would say that if you're like very well prepared for the test, they give you two and a half, uh, two basically three hours, two and two hours and fifty minutes, two hours and fifty minutes for uh, both halves. So you get like two hours and fifty minutes, take an hour long break, two hours and fifty minutes uh, done online. You they like do a program where they have your mic, uh, they confirm that it's you with your ID. Um, they locked or they don't lock down your computer, but they can see your computer and yourself. No headphones. Um, if you need to go to the bathroom, you have to text them so that they know that you like disappeared off camera for X amount of time and showed up at the right time, right? Like you can disappear off the camera for like an undisclosed time and reason, right? So I got to take it home. Thankfully, thank you to Katie. She actually took the kids out. So they were out for the whole day. And so they're on their way home now, but so you do it online, thankfully, the written portion and now have to do the tasting portion. But what's the written portion like? Um, again, it's sort of what I expected. The, the, the test is weird in the sense that it is dumb easy and then also like challenging. So each section has like less than hundred questions, but the multiple choice slash like fill in the blank part, man, you can get that. If you really, if you know your stuff, you can, you can get through like, like I was going through it. And I was like, wait, there's like no more <laughs> answers left. You know, no more questions left. And then you get to the essays and obviously they, they'll take time. But man, you can get through like, like 90, like let's say, let's say the questions. Yeah. Let's say the questions you can get through like, you know, I mean, not the 90, like, okay. anyway, let's say there's 80 questions. You can get through 75 questions in like 20 minutes. <laughs> they give you two and a half, they give you almost three hours. Like if you really know your stuff. It's like some of the tests is stupid easy like it's the the dishes i knew the cooking processes i knew um honestly i think i spent a little bit too much time well, maybe not too much but yeah probably a little bit too much time on uh, vital stats because the vital stats is actually matching so you actually don't even need to memorize the stats fully to get you know the points you, you know if you got them you know if you get the if you see the numbers and then you can just get the style out of a box of them it's, it's very doable um, I think I only actually had to regurgitate the uh, vital stats for one style. Did I miss something? No, I didn't miss anything, right? Anyway, that was strange. I thought that was strange. I thought I had to do way more than that. So only one style that I have to actually regurgitate the um, vital stats. Um, I don't know. Like they're going to get you on some draft quality stuff. That stuff is just not completely logical. Some of it's like, man, one essay was super nitpicky. Like, like why they had that question still on the test is crazy. Um, man, you have to do your off flavors. Like those, those, those are gonna get you. Um, yeah, you have to do your off flavors real good. I mean, they're in the syllabus, but even then, like you can Google those off flavors. Some of them just like, like how do you write an essay about this? Or like, how much do you need to know about this? Cause like they, they, there, there's some like really abstract off flavors and we're not talking about like the acetal. The acetal you can write a book about, you know, you know, acetaldehyde you could write a full essay about, but like there's like random ones where it's just like, how much do you really want me to know out of it? But whatever. Um, the f yeah, the vital stats part was dumb easy. If you have like a good familiarity with it, like it's matching, like how hard that can that be? Ah, oh, what else was there? Some brewing process stuff that was a little bit hard. You know, some of that was, I'm curious. Um, yeah, actually I, I should talk to the beer group. I'm gonna do that tonight. So I, I'm gonna not try to like think about all this and like figure out the answers. I'll just talk to them and like, you know, relax myself that way. Um, what else? Oh, the, see, that's, see, so the food one's hard because man, they pull out some like hard ones out of that syllabus. And like, for me, stupid, e like stupid easy, but like even one of them was like, was that the white one? Yes, it is. But like some of them are like, wow, like most people won't know that. <laughs> like even people, like 
forget about majority of the population not knowing these specific dishes and ingredients, but then like people studying the test, like, you know, they'll know some of the dishes, but like, unless you really study that syllabus really hard and go out of your way to really memorize like actual dishes that you will never eat. Uh, I mean, out of all those dishes, I mean, like most of them I've had, but like, I can't say that most people are like foodies that lived in New York, blah, blah, blah. Like most people like will never touch a large majority of those question, uh, those answers on, in, the, in the food bank. So that's super hard for a lot of people. Um, most people don't cook, right? A lot of people don't cook. So then there's cooking questions on there, like, um, you know, like, like, um, cooking processes and like, that's hard. So for me, all this stuff was stupid easy, but like not easy for most people, like, especially people, even, even people taking the test. Most people like come from different cut, cut of cloth with like, like, you know, culinary stuff and dishes and cooking is just not, you know, like part of it. And then it gets really hard when they make you do cooking, uh, cooking with beer questions, which is super abstract and, and it's hard because you have to do multiple styles. Like it, it's, it's, again, that's parts a little, you know, obviously a little bit more subjective and I hope they give you points on that because I tried pretty well, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, I mean, did I leave a lot of points on the table? For sure. Oh, the second half is way harder. Oh my God, way harder. Uh, way more stuff on stuff that you're gonna know on these books, especially hops and malt, hops and malt book. You're gonna have to know a lot of stuff. I did, honestly, for this test, I didn't open those <laughs> for this test and it showed. I mean, I, I had at least, a, at least a handful of questions where I was like, ooh, I, I'm not quite sure. You know, I had to guess, um, so. And the brewing process stuff too, not super intuitive for a lot of people that work in the industry. Like the draft stuff, you know, I, I've worked from front of house pretty much most uh, front of house my entire life. Um, some people that like, that don't serve beer, like this is not logical. So like, what, what, what could it be? So um, it certainly is a hard test. Wow. Like surprisingly, like, so but again, it's weird. Like so much, so much, I mean, I guess that, that's the syllabus, but like so much of it is like sort of level two kind of knowledge where like, or just elevated levels of knowledge where it's like, okay, like that is dumb easy. Like, you know, you can get through a large portion of the test, but then there's parts where it's like, oh, smokes, like this is what's gonna separate the, like, well, the cre cream from the crop, whatever, the cream from the crop, whatever that uh, idiom is, uh, is gonna separate the people that pass and can't pass. Like it, there's hard sections of the test where you're just gonna have to like know your stuff. And like, for some of it, I didn't know it. Some of it, I think, I hope I knew it. Depends on how hard they judge, uh, grade the test. I think I passed, I just, I'm just, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a world where I don't pass that test. Sorry, eh, not quite, not quite sure. I mean, if, if I do, it's gonna be disappointing, but it won't be by much, I promise you that. If I fail, it won't be by much. And you know, hopefully that's the case. Cause man, I really don't think I did that poorly. But, um, and if I pass, again, I'm, I really hope I pass well. Cause a worst score would be like a passing score where I really have to crush on tasting and like, you know, Tasting is just one of those things where you're on one day, maybe on one day, maybe not on one day, could do bad one day, right? Like there's a variability, it really depends on what they give you. Maybe certain off flavors you're not good at, maybe certain styles you're not good at, maybe just a little bit here and there. And the more wiggle room you have, like the more I pass the portion well, I don't have to like worry about the tasting portion as much, right? Like I have um, like points to give <laughs> to pass the entire exam. Uh, worst case scenario would not, it would be passing poorly, but. Uh, we shall see. I mean, I don't find out news. I mean, they go, I, from what I understand, they go all the way. They said four to six weeks. I'm going to wait a month and a half probably. So I'm not going to stress too much about it. I think I did pretty okay. I'm just fingers crossed, get a good score. And then boom, tasting portion. When we look at tasting portion, honestly, uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk to Katie about it too, but hopefully by the end of the year, definitely some point, maybe next year. We'll see. We'll see. I uh, can't wait to pass this stuff though. Um, really excited to get this off my chest less stress, definitely less stress for Katie because now I can like do more stuff around the house. We'll see. Um, first impression, that's a long video. I'm just looking at the clock, but um, yeah, sort of what I expected, but again, wish I was more prepared. Um, I mean, you can't give the perfect answer for everything, right? Like it's a test, you know, like I guess you could if you're like, a you know, really go hard, hard, but yeah, well, Chris and Scott went really hard. They, they definitely, would have scored higher than me, I think, but or will score higher than me when I find out my results. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So, um, cool, 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 yeah. I just hope I get a good score and uh, I'm glad this is over with, but, and I, again, I can't wait for tonight. Like there's certainly things I wanna tackle and like, like 
look at and just look over answers for. But right now, I need to eat something and just like relax because like I'm starving. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much for enjoying this. Um, huh? What a test. What a test. What a test. Post the comments below if you have any questions. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later. Oh. What am I doing? Um, if you guys are curious, go on the, the, the website and just check out the syllabus. Um, this, I mean, the test is the syllabus. So there are going to be portions of that test, that syllabus. You're like, oh, really? They ask about that? Like, there's some, uh, I mean, it's not obvious what, what they focus on. And there's certainly questions there where it's like, oh, it's this one line in the, in the, um, syllabus but like they want you to know a lot about that stuff and they certainly pull that kind of nonsense on me specifically i think with a couple of questions but um yeah interesting interesting yeah but if you're curious about what's on the test let's just look through the syllabus to see like oh wow like these are all these things i don't know about like that's part of the test. like you know at least like if i was like you know level one or level two there's a bunch of things i would look at that the syllabus and be like oh wow i have to know that stuff um check it out check out the syllabus like read through it see if you're <laughs> <laughs> have any competency at it because like if you do uh or you know have level two or try to go for level three or if you don't go for level two uh certainly worth it level two is certainly worth it level three is definitely uh a lot so until next time cheers i see that the family's home later